All right. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Let's go over exercises for stiff knees. So as we age, unfortunately, part of it is becoming stiff, whether it's your back, your neck, your knees, whatever it may be, it is important that you absolutely keep moving when this happens. So I know a lot of times, especially after activities, um, you might want to take some rest because you wake up and your knees are a little bit more sore or they're stiff. And that's really one of the worst things you can do for any type of stiffness or soreness. It's something that you want to avoid because that, if it is stiff because of swelling, which a lot of times it is, that swelling is only going to uh, get worse as you sit and you do nothing. So you want to do gentle exercises. If you wake up and you have stiffness in your knees, you don't want to just push through it and barrel through it and kind of say ignore it or no pain, no gain. But you do want to move and you want to gently move and you want to make sure that you are doing everything you can to assist any of that fluid buildup to make sure you're maintaining range of motion. A lot of times in the knee, a lot of people will come in and have and they'll say, you know, understand when this happened or I can't bend my knee all the way. And but I can't figure out why I can't bend my knee or I can't lift my shoulder all the way over my head. These are gradual changes that slowly happen and all of a sudden you're going to wake up one day and look and think like it took some time and it's soreness where you're not moving and you're not moving your joint in the entire range of motion that it has. So you want to be aware of that and you want to make sure that even though they might be stiff, they might be sore, this is something that you want to do. A couple of these exercises will help get some of that stiffness and soreness out. It's going to help maintain that range of motion, which is really important. Now these are not to be done after you have a fall or some traumatic injury. That's not what we're talking about here. I'm talking about a day where maybe you went skiing or hiking or had a, a really tough day of exercise or maybe you just woke up and you're a little bit more stiff, but there was no uh, precipitating fall. There was no traumatic injury that caused this uh, stiffness or soreness. So the first exercise you want to do is you just want to sit in a chair uh, on the edge of the bed, whatever it may be, and you want to kick your leg out as far as you can. You want to get it all the way straight if possible. The straightening of the knee, the straightening of the leg is the first thing to go when, we're, when we lose range of motion. It's the first uh, type of range of motion that you're going to lose. You're not going to notice that you've lost too much flexion or bending of the knee, but you are going to notice that you can't straighten your leg out anymore. This is kind of precursor number one to getting that knee replacement. So you want to make sure that at all costs, we really try and get this range of motion back. And if you do notice they have range of motion issues, it goes beyond just these simple exercises. We offer a free consultation. All you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. But you want to start with these exercises to keep that range of motion. So you're just sitting here and you want to stretch that knee all the way leg out a little bit better. It may not come overnight. It may not come even the next day. You want to just kind of keep working this nice and easy. You want to do about 30 of these, although the reps really don't matter because this is a low, low and easy. You're straightening your knee. If both are sore, make sure you're doing about 30 reps, about five minutes of that exercise will help extend your leg, will help straighten your leg. The next exercise you want to do is you want to bend it back, okay? So you want to sit on the edge of the bed and bend it as far back as you can. Now, if you're sitting on the edge of the bed, you're going to have a hard time bending it all the way back. So you can bring it up like this and just bend it as much as you can. Now, you may need to bring your hands underneath your leg in order to be able to get that all the way up to your chest because your, bed, your knee may be out here, okay? Again, when you push and you apply a little pressure to that leg, you want to just make sure that you're applying it so that it's sore, it's not painful. So you, if it's pushing down, it becomes very, very painful. You don't want to do that. You want to just grab it, flex it or push it down as far as it will go until you feel that uncomfortable feeling. And then you go back and you do it again nice and easy. It is something, again, you want to do that for about five minutes. If you're laying in bed, you can do that laying down in bed, just alternating those knees. Finally, what you want to do is you want to do a type of squat. So you don't want to obviously necessarily bend till it hurts. You want to just nice and easy bend your knees and stand back up. 
This is all you may be able to do. And that is okay. If you can go down further, great. But you wanna make sure that you're just, again, getting that blood flow to the area. So it might just be a little mini squat. You can even do a little march if you want. Just, again, it's just getting that knee bent, getting weight onto that knee, pushing that fluid out of the knee, so that way if it's sore because of fluid being in there, if it's stiff because of fluid being in there, you're able to move that fluid out. So it's really important to maintain that uh, knee in its integrity and avoid a lot of that swelling, and how you get swelling out is to actually move that joint. If your knee is stiff, you do want to make sure that you're gently walking. Again, if you have a pool, that's a great medium to walk in. We have pools at our clinics. Walking in those really helps reduce that stiffness, reduce that pain. Um, but it's important that you have that ability to just kind of walk around nice and easy, even if it's for a couple minutes. And then you sit down for a couple minutes and kind of get up and move around. But moving is going to help some of that stiffness. It's counterintuitive. It may not feel great at first. But the more you move, the better it's gonna feel. If you or someone you know is suffering with knee pain and wants a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. Thanks and have a good night.